I want to look at some distance time graphs and their related velocity time graphs. The two together look a little bit confusing, so we'll look at them separately and I'll get one of my students to have a go at trying to perform this experiment so we can have a look and see what happens. What we need is a means of measuring this velocity, this distance, and to do that I'm going to use one of these. This is a PASCO motion sensor. It's an ultrasound device and it sends out a signal, bounces back off the subject and records the distance. So let's set this up and have a go. This sensor has a couple of settings, either for a trolley, and we can move the button across, or for a person. We're going to set this to person because we're going to use this setup to measure a person walking across the room. Now I have the sensor set up, I can now adjust this and place this onto a retort stand at about mid-body height and we can then put this into a wireless transmitter which will transmit the signal to the computer. And now we're ready. Right, okay, we've got everything ready. So we've got the ultrasound beta. We've got the subject standing there. And we're going to record this now. Ready? Three, two, one, go. That's a velocity time graph. Let's go back yeah. to the distance time graph. So we'll look at your distance time graph. That's oh, your distance. That's a lot better. That is what I would yeah. expect. And we've got a nice shape on that. A nice increase, steady, and then a nice decrease. And if I change this and look at a velocity time graph, then within a few bits of error, like this bit when you did something stupid, <laughs> uh, we've got a really nice graph here. So let's ask a simple question now. Why can't you walk at a constant velocity? Uh, because I, cause I'm human, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it could be. It's no, it's because you've got two legs. All right. Right, now, how do you actually walk? Well, you haven't got wheels. If we did this with a cart, which is what we might do in a minute, mm. this would be much better. Yeah. But what happens is when you put a foot down, you put one foot down, and then you accelerate as you lift the other foot up and sort of start falling over, yeah. putting the other foot down. But basically, if you look at somebody walking, as they do walk, they aren't moving their body at a constant speed, but your body's going faster, slower, faster, slower. And that's what we're picking up on the graph. 